All right, hi everybody, it's Bonkai922. Um, the video of me doing the review for Bleach 480 didn't go up, so I'm redoing this review. Okay, um, whew, 480. <laughs> it has, um, it has begun. The final arc of Bleach. Now, now after this, I'm probably gonna do the fairy tale episode review that I didn't do yet. I'm not so sure. In fact, I got that today. I showed you guys, you know, the unboxings of fairy tale and uh, whatever. Um. Okay, let's get into it. Pretty much, knowing this is the final arc of this show. Of Bleach, final arc. There are some things to be answered now. For this chapter, the, the name of the arc, from what I saw, was called the Thousand Final Arc, Thousand Year Blood War. Something along those lines. And later on, you find out the actual title is Holy War, Thousand Year Holy War, I believe. In the beginning. Of the chapter, we have Kurosuchi and his and his um, squad, and they're basically in a stir because all the hollows are disappearing. They're disappearing. Pretty much, the hollows are disappearing, and they're trying to figure out what's going on. And Kurosuchi says, "It must be them. Them. Only they are the only people who can do this." So that is what occurred. And then on the black and white page, because this was beginning was color pages, and on the black and white page we see some guy on a roof of a house. He's on this, the roof of this house, or apartment building, and he cracks something. We don't see who he looks like, we don't really see his face that good or his body, but we know we hear a crack. Now before I get too much into this, let me just rewind everyone's brain. Rewind, rewind, all the way back to the very beginning of Bleach. When we had Uliu and Ichigo meet up for the very first time. And Uliu did the same thing that this guy did to attract Hollows. Now, obviously, this is a hint to suggest, oh, the Quincy's are the villain. Now that, in this chapter, was the big pro. That was a pro, in my opinion. However, this chapter had a little bit too much cons. What do I mean by that? Well, moving along, um, the beginning, going on to the chapter, Next page, we get this introduction of these two new Soul Reapers. Yuki and Shino. Shino's a girl, Yuki's a guy. And Yuki's is really like, he's like, um, um, Yamada. You know Yamada from Squad 4? That's what this kid's like, Yuki. He's very, 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 well, let's just call him a pussy. <laughs> don't want to say that on YouTube, but he's a sis. He's basically a sissy. And uh, she knows this girl, and she's like really gun ho and she's saying, why don't you gun ho about this? We're going to Karakura Town. We're going to be, she's, and he's very scared and timid. And basically that's going on. And they get into a fight, and the girl punches him because she says, oh, why are you sticking your chest out? You have nothing to stick out. Cliche. So they meet up with the Afro guy. You know the guy, I forgot his name, but the guy who took over Ichigo's hollow slaying duty, defeating hollow's duty, the guy with the Afro. He takes them under his wing and he brings them to Karakura Town and says, you know, don't fight you two and so on and so forth, and they're going to be the new people who are going to defeat the hollows and so on and so forth. So Shino tells Yuki, okay, 
I'm gonna go north. And you go south. And she's like, eh. and again, Yuki's like, hey, why, why do we have to split up? Because it's more efficient that way. Because obviously it would be stupid if they were to go together and, you know, you would kind of cover more ground. So they go their separate ways. Yuki immediately encounters a hollow. And he's running away from it. He can't defeat it, supposedly. And then he mistakenly bumps in and finds out that you, that Shino is in the same position. She can't defeat her hollows. There are a lot of hollows. A lot. So, what ends up happening is, Yuki says, oh, I'll go save her, and so on and so forth, and can't even do that. He gets attacked by the hollow behind him that was chasing him. And he's like, I have to save her, you know, I, I had to save her, you know, am I going to die here, so on and so forth, and that's when, da 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 da, here comes Ichigo, he shows up, and he says, oh, you got to be better than that kid, you got to be better, and, and, and more efficient in killing these hollows than that, so, Ichigo says that, and in no, no time at all, he kills, and the kid asks his name, what's your name? He kills his cobbles before he introduces himself to the kid. That's what's his name. And he's Ichigo Kurosaki, Shinigami representative. And after he says it, we get this scene with this shadowy figure watching the situation. That's how the chapter ends. Three out of five. I'm sorry. I'm giving this three out of five. Now, if somebody would have asked me, oh, does this mean you are totally done with Bleach? Are you throwing it to the wayside? Listen. Kubo was gone for three weeks. He didn't do a single chapter for three weeks. And in that time, okay, I've been watching One Piece. Fine. I got Robin figuring. Fine. I've been watching the hell out of, of, of One Piece. Fine. I got Robin and I got Hancock. Fine. That doesn't mean I'm done with the witch. That doesn't mean I'm done with the witch. Now, here's the problem. The chapter was blocked. And what do I mean by that? There are more cons than pros. Explain to me why we have to look at these two soul weepers who don't know what the fuck they're doing, show up at Karakura Town, and they're going to fight Hollows. What is the point of that sequence? But maybe I'm wrong on that fact. But anyway, the pro obviously was... The mysterious figure. Well, I can see is being Quincy. Now, like Kubo fashion, he's not giving us much to go on. He's throwing it in the air, and it is what it is. If this is, this truly is from what we've seen, the final arc, and he does say the final arc, and all that at the end of the chapter, like I said, it says, holy war, so to speak, and so far, people were saying on those forums, Quincy, Qu I saw a forum, and they were all voting that it was going to be the Quincy's, well, so far, that's what it seems like. That scene in the beginning says everything. Says it all. Now, where do we go from here? We'll see. Kubo's got a lot of work to do. Because there were too many cons. The cons already, I count, two cons. One con, well, actually two cons. Number one, you, this kid Yuki, who's a dick, dipshit, pathetic. And number two, 
Why are we getting introduced to these two characters who obviously don't mean anything? But that's just me. Um, but the pro obviously is the villain. This introduction of what seems to be um, Quincy's. Now, the interview that he did, Kubo, and I have a picture of the interview. I was thinking maybe I should try to put it on there, but I, I don't think I can. Um, they asked Kubo, will he be putting in any of the arm cars? And he said that it was going to happen. Now, we have to wait and see. Who has to has to bring his A game here? There's no question. This show and One Piece are kicking his ass. Three out of five. Three out of five. Um, I will still do my manga evaluations, but because this is the final arc, here's what I'm going to do. When this show finally is, I'm going to do a complete overview of the show and see where I put it in animals that I've seen. Where does it rank? So, but at least we know the villains are seemingly getting something going on, so that's from something. But I just think the whole, these two Soul Reapers, these are just the worst characters who was ever created. And what's the point? <laughs> what's the fucking point? Is there a point to it? I don't see any. I don't see any. So, we will see. This has been Bonkai 922, Chapter 480 of Bleach. Final arc. Oh my god. God help us. Please. Please. Do us justice, Kubo. Do us justice. See you guys later.